In this video, let's talk about how to express how old someone is. To do this, we'll practice numbers, introduce the dative case of personal pronouns, and touch on a few quirks about the word year. Сколько ему лет? Ему один год. Сколько ей лет? Ей два года. Сколько тебе лет? Мне пять лет. If you look carefully, you might notice that there's no subject, no grammatical subject in these questions. There's nothing in the nominative case. Instead, literally, we're asking how many to someone of years, using the dative case for the person whose age we're talking about. And similarly, in the answer, the person is in the dative case with the number of years following. So, yemu, ye, tibia, and mnie are personal pronouns in the dative case. Here's the complete set next to the nominative forms for comparison. Mnie, to me, tibia, to you, informal singular, yemu, ye, yemu. Note that the masculine and neuter pronouns uh, are the same here. Nam to us, vam to you, plural or formal, and im to them. So, to ask how old someone is, we can use the word skolka, how much or how many, with one of these dative pronouns and the word let, years. Now, why let, why that form? Well, after skolka, we use the genitive plural form for countable things like years, and let is the irregular genitive plural form of god, meaning year. Couple of examples. Вы знаете, сколько мне лет? Сколько им лет? Нам двадцать два года. And here's one other important thing to keep in mind. Since our answer will involve a number, the form of the word year will of course depend on which number we use. Let's recall that we use the nominative singular form of a noun after any number that ends in the word один or одна, or одно, even if it's a compound, like двадцать один, or сто один. Examples. Ему один год. Ему двадцать один год. Ей сто один год. And we'll use the genitive singular for nouns that follow numbers ending in the forms два, or две, три, or четыре. For example, Ему два года. Ей двадцать два года. Ей сто два года. And we'll need the genitive plural after the numbers пять, five, through двадцать, twenty, and also for compound numbers that end in five through nine or zero. For example, twenty-five to thirty, thirty-five to forty, forty-five to fifty, etc. Ей семь лет. Ей двадцать семь лет. Ему сто семь лет. These rules about nouns after numbers can seem a little bit messy at times, so you may want to review separate videos that we have on the forms of nouns after numbers. Summing up. When talking about age in Russian, be sure not to translate literally from English. If you do try to use the Russian equivalents for how or old, it just won't make much sense. Be sure to memorize the dative case pronouns мне, тебе, ему, ей, нам, вам, им. You'll be using them all the time in lots of other contexts as well. To ask someone's age using a pronoun, use сколько with the dative case of the pronoun, followed by лет. To state someone's age, the pronoun will again be in the dative case with the number and the appropriate form for years. Год, года, or лет. 